Welcome creators, in this episode we're featuring top trending and best dev tool projects this week. That means you'll discover high value open source tools you can plug into your workflow today. We've got gems like Valdi for native performance UI across platforms and Open Router SDK for unified multi-model AI integrations. Let's dig in. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Valdi, cross-platform UI framework with native performance. Let's dive into the world of Valdi, an open source UI framework released by Snap Inc. that boldly promises native performance without sacrificing developer velocity. According to the repository, Valdi lets you write your UI once in reactive declarative TypeScript and it compiles directly to native views on iOS, Android, and macOS. No web view, no JavaScript bridge. Behind the scenes it uses a C++ layout engine, global view pool for recycling, incremental rendering so only components that change re-render, and a dev workflow so you get hot reloads in milliseconds. It's designed for developers and teams who want true cross-platform simplicity while still delivering feel-right native apps, giving you speed, control, and reduced overhead from maintaining separate code bases. The repo is still labeled beta, despite powering substantial production features at Snap over eight years. Try it today and explore how your cross-platform UI workflow becomes smooth, fast, and efficient. Before we move to next project, let me introduce you to the tool Mtez's Reddit Stories, where real posts, real people, and real drama come to life. Every day, Reddit is filled with unforgettable tales, shocking confessions, wild plot twists, wholesome moments, and the kind of chaos only the internet can provide. Here we dive into the best of them. Whether it's relationships, mims, mimes, comedy videos, Teza brings you Reddit's most gripping stories, told with clarity, emotion, and a touch of personality. So sit back, relax, and get ready. Let's move on to the Teza app. In the last two videos, we covered Shortcut Clips and Streamer Clipper. Now it's time for an amazing new feature, Reddit Story. When you enter the interface, the first option you'll see is Show Reddit Thread Intro. If you want this intro in your video, simply enable it. If not, just leave it disabled. We'll enable it for this example. Next, you'll see the Thread Title section. Just type the title you want and set the username you'd like to display in the Reddit thread intro. And that's not all. You also have the option to upload a Reddit image if you want to include one. Scrolling down, you'll find the script section. Here you can type a short story, a chat conversation, or anything you want. If you already have an AI-generated script, you can paste it here. We'll add our story prompt, then click Generate. After a few seconds, the story is processed. Now click Move Forward. Next, you'll see the subtitle option. Set your subtitle style and move forward. Then choose your background video. For this example, we'll use Mario Kart. Move forward again. Here comes one of the most important parts. Project number two, Wiggle UI, a curated widget toolkit for web UIs. Imagine sifting through dozens of UI libraries just to find one solid component you can plug into your app. Now picture instead a tidy library where you copy a widget, paste it into your project, tweak a few props, and you're done. That's exactly what Wiggle UI offers. It's a free, open-source, MIT-licensed collection of copy-and-paste widgets for web projects built with TypeScript and CSS Kundarauni 97. What makes it timely is its promise of developer velocity. You open the library's demo site, pick a UI widget, cards, forms, toggles, etc., paste into your code, and it integrates smoothly. It also advertises full compatibility with Shady and Slash UI architecture, meaning if you're already using that ecosystem, the transition is seamless. The repo structure shows a component slash folder with ready wid widgets hook slash for reuse. Wiggle UI is ideal for front-end developers, creators building dashboards, small teams needing fast prototypes, and designers who want clean, consistent building blocks without crafting everything from scratch. The real-world value, save time, maintain consistency, and reduce custom UI bloat. Explore it once and feel how smoothly your UI workflow becomes part of your toolkit. Project number three, base UI, unstyled, accessible React components for design systems. Let's dive into the world of base UI, an open source library designed for building UI on your own terms. Built by the team behind Material UI, Base UI, formerly MUI Base, provides unstyled React components and low level hooks so you get full control over look, feel, and accessibility without being locked into default styles. 
It's crafted in TypeScript and licensed under MIT, servicing developers, designers, and teams who want a strong foundation but need the flexibility to build custom design systems. The library supports core features such as accessibility-aware hooks, EG1 plus a UI button, use switch, composition of primitive building blocks, and runtime themable behavior. Runtime performance and customization matter. You can install at MUI slash base, drop in a die button, and style it via Tailwind, Emotion, or plain CSS. The logic is intact, but visuals are entirely yours. Designed for front-end engineers building dashboards, SaaS apps or design systems who value control, accessibility, and portability. You gain flexibility, remove unwanted styles, and avoid vendor lock-in. Give it a try and feel how your component workflow becomes clean and bespoke. Project number four, pocket ID, passwordless, passkey only OIDC provider. Imagine replacing all your usernames and passwords with a single secure tap or hardware key and having that power plug easily into your apps. This is exactly what pocket ID delivers. It's a free open source self-hostable identity provider built in Go with some Svelte slash TypeScript for the front end that implements a full-fledged OIDC server, but unlike many alternatives, it only supports pass keys. WebAuthn, no passwords at all. This setup matters today because pass keys are emerging as the future of secure and friction-free login, reducing phishing risk, improving UX and cutting out credential reuse headaches. According to the repo, you can deploy via Docker Compose, configure your environment variables, e.g. public app URL, database, etc., and then create OIDC clients, users, and pass keys through the admin UI. It supports Postgres by default, binaries for multiple OSs, Linux, Mac OS, BSD, as of the latest release, and the project is actively maintained with updates in the last 90 days. It is built for developers, system admins, and anyone running self-hosted services or internal apps who want strong identity control, modern login workflows, and full ownership of the stack. Give it a try and see how quickly it becomes part of your login workflow. Project number five, Open Router SDK, Unified Multi-Model API Toolkit in TypeScript. Imagine plugging into hundreds of different AI models without rewriting your integration each time. That's exactly what the Open Router SDK delivers. This free open source Apache 2.0 licensed TypeScript toolkit from OpenRouter team lets you build AI powered features in JavaScript slash script environments, web, node, deno, with full type safety and minimal friction. At its core, you install via npm add OpenRouter SDK, instantiate the client with your API key, then issue requests like openrouter.chat.send, model openAI slash GPT 4.0, Messages, reeling you access 300 plus models from multiple providers through a unified interface. It supports advanced features like provider routing, streaming responses, usage accounting, token cost tracking, and works across runtimes as documented. This SDK is built for developers, technical product teams, and AI toolsmiths who need flexibility, multi-model support, cost optimization, and simplicity in deployment. The real world value lies in slashing integration overhead gaining access to best performing models by cost or latency, and staying stack agnostic. Give it a try and see how quickly your multi-model API workflow becomes seamless. Project number six, ROM self-hosted ROM manager, player. Imagine stepping into your favorite emulation collection and seeing it beautifully organized, enriched with metadata, and playable instantly in your browser. That's what ROM delivers. This open source AGPL license platform is a self-hosted ROM manager and player built by the community. You deploy it via Docker, point it at your ROM library, and it automatically scans, enriches metadata from sites like IGDB and Moby Games, fetches artwork from SteamGrid DB, and supports 400 plus gaming platforms. The front end is web-based, built with Vue, Python backend, and offers features like cloud-style browsing, tagging, multi-disk support, and direct browser emulation, thanks to built-in tools like Emulator.js and Ruffle RS. Designed for retro gamers, hobbyists, and self-hosting enthusiasts, ROM gives you full ownership of your library, whether you're browsing on desktop, mobile, or handheld, all while maintaining privacy and control. It's actively maintained with thousands of stars and commits over recent months. Try it and watch how your game collection workflow becomes smooth, unified, and effortlessly playable. Project number seven, Gitvex, serverless Git hosting on the edge. Let's dive into the world of Gitvex, a free open source platform that reimagines code hosting by ditching virtual machines and containers entirely in favor of edge infrastructure. According to the repository by Druval M. Duval, 
GitVex is built using Cloudflare workers for Git HTTP protocol handling, Cloudflare durable objects for repository data storage, and Convex for metadata like users, repos, and issues. It supports unlimited public and private repositories, a web interface built with TanStack Start in TypeScript, and standard Git operations like Git Push and Git Pull via smart HTTP protocol. It's tailored for developers and self-hosters who want full control of their code hosting stack, minimal infrastructure overhead, and fast global performance via edge deployment. Because it leverages Cloudflare's network, you gain low latency and high availability without managing servers. Try it today and feel how much lighter your repository hosting workflow can become. Thanks for watching. If you found this roundup helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment your favorite repo from this list, and enable notifications so you're first for upcoming tools. Don't forget to star the repos and try the demos linked in the description. Got suggestions for upcoming videos? Drop them in the comments. I'll check them out.